secret passion and a secret dream, and mine is my garage. I'm going to turn this into a garage dream shop, and I'm here with Barry Day. Now, Barry, you are the master installer here, and yes. you guys are doing a great job with the design. This is called the Go Box and the Freedom Rail. Describe how a system like this goes in. Well, first we measure up about 84 inches from the floor. We draw a level line. We use our rail as a template. We draw some circles for our holes. We then use a 5 16 drill. We drill those holes out. We install an anchor. Okay. We put that anchor in the wall. We run a screw in once we put the rail against that anchor. The screw tightens up behind the wall. It rosettes, kind of like you see here. Right. Gives it a 360 degree contact around the back of the, the drywall. That's what gives us the strength to hold 500 pounds for every 40 inches of rail that we use. Okay, and believe me, um, you could hang from this and it wouldn't flex. So this is Not sturdy stuff, great for tools. But what's also neat about this is you call this the go box in the garage. Yes. This basic structure right here that has movable shelves and then you can put a whole array of doors on this. Now, for every home improvement specialist, you need to know about these. These are fully adjustable 35 millimeter hinges and these are what we have on our kitchen cabinets as well. Now, show us how this goes in. Okay. Sit it up here. It pops in like that. Just like that. It also has three-way adjustments, as you said. It can be moved side to side, up and down, or in and out, however you need to make it fit in the opening perfectly. And you just need a screwdriver to do that. It's Correct. easy, anyone can do it. Absolutely. Okay, now, on the final show of the season, you will see this entire space tricked out, but keep this in mind. By using the Go Box and the Freedom Rail, I have different workstations in different zones. Down here, you can see a really neat area that will be for a drill press. Over near the garage door, I'll have some lumber storage and finishing storage supplies on the movable shelves. Tell us a little bit about the shelf system there. We call this profile shelving. It has a, a more limited profile on the front. It's a little shorter, so you can get a lot more things between shelves. It's also very adjustable. Once we've popped that profile shelf into our brackets, you can actually take the entire shelf out and move it up or move it down as you see fit to fit whatever items in there that you need space for. Okay, and again, 500 pounds for every 40 inches. This shelf we consider, um, with the uprights at 30 inches apart, we can put about 75 pounds per lineal foot on the shelf. Excellent. And then on the other side of my shop, I have a great workstation there. We'll have a flip-up table in another zone for a work table and more benches or more shelves near the entry to the house for extra storage. This is phenomenal. It gives me versatility. It's Absolutely. strong. Can't thank you enough. You're welcome. Well, I'm going to let you get back at this and right. on to more home improvement projects. <laughs>